What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this one starts today guys, please make sure you drop a like on this, hit subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. Today what I am going to be showing you is how to rebuild these ball lift rods and put new gum rubber on them. Alright guys, so what you'll need to do first is remove your old lift rods out of your machine. There's a Allen head bolt at the bottom and the same size Allen head bolt at the top. You'll need to remove both of those. You don't have to take the ball lift out to remove these rods. You can remove one at a time and you should be able to get them out. After you remove the lift rods from the machine, what you will then need to do is cut the old rubber off with a razor blade. And now, the hard part is putting the gum, the new gum rubber onto the lift rod again. Okay, so what we are going to need to do first is get our new rubber. Okay. And then, you're going to need an air compressor for this job. So, I'm going to get my air compressor hose out. As you can see, we are at my garage because I do not have an air compressor at the bowling alley. All right, so after you get your air hose and your gum rubber, what you are then going to need to do is clamp your air hose onto one end of the gum rubber. And you will need, like, I use a little hose clamp. That works pretty good. And uh, for the, whether you use the 5 16th bit or whatever that is, or flathead, doesn't really matter. All right, now that we have it loosened up, we're going to put the air gun into the end of the gum rubber. Make sure you put your clamp on there first. All right, and now we are going to clamp this gum rubber onto the air gun like this. So kind of hold it with both hands like that. And then tighten it up. All right, guys, so I've tightened this clamp up, and the goal of this is to make sure that there is an airtight seal here so that when you push on the ho on the uh, button for the air gun, no air comes back out this way once you get started on the rod. Using the air compressor is going to help us guide the gum rubber onto the ball lift rods a lot easier than trying to feed it uh, without it. So what you will then need to do is take one of your ball lift rods, I'm gonna flip my vise to the pipe side, Flip it around town like that, and now just put a little bit of the rod into the vise. Not too much because we're going to feed most of this on. We're going to start on the curved side because that is going to be the most difficult. And again, make sure before you start feeding the gum rubber on, make sure that this rod is clean and there's nothing preventing it from going on. I also recommend you use a little bit of slide powder, which you should all have because you should be doing this at a bowling alley. So just put some slide powder on the rod. This will also help the rubber slide onto the rod very easily. Okay. So now that you've done that, you're going to take your opposite end of the gum rubber and get it ready. But first, we are going to need to stuff this hole on this side because as you can, well, I can't show you now because I already attached that, but this hole for the threads goes all the way through this pipe here. So if I'm trying to feed this tube onto here with the air gun, all the air is just going to escape through here. So we got to plug it up. So the way we're going to do that is by using earplugs and Gorilla Tape. So what we're going to do is take one of these earplugs, just like how you would before putting it in your ear. So squeeze a bunch and then put it right in there. And then, so that you don't blow it out when you get the air gun on it, take a piece of Gorilla Tape and put it on there like so. Make sure it's nice and airtight. And then, just to ensure that our duct tape doesn't come loose we're going to take a few zip ties and secure it like that so take a few of these and put it right around that duct tape and tighten it up and you should be good okay so now that i have my earplug duct tape and zip ties on there we are good to go to start feeding this on so 
the way you do this by yourself, it, it does help if you have a second person to press the handle on the air gun. But what you're going to do is you're going to position this clamp like so. You're going to want an air gun handle like this so that you can step on it with your foot. So what you're going to do is you're going to start the rubber onto the end of the lift rod. All right, so once you get it started, then you're gonna wanna use this air gun because what that's gonna do, since there's no air, there's no way for the air to escape, that's gonna force this gum rubber to expand just enough so that we can slide it right on the rod. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step on the air hose and then start guiding it on. So use two hands. You're gonna hear the air compressor kick on in a minute. You can twist it a little bit if that helps. Now, when you get it fed on all the way, let the air finish escaping out of the crack there. Because if you let go when there's a bunch of air still in here, this gum rubber is just gonna shoot off. And then you're gonna have to start all over. So when you get to this point, take it out of the vise, and then finish, put the other, the end that, the opposite end on the ground and finish feeding it onto there. Okay, so I've gone as far as I can without taking those zip ties off. So now, before the, see all the air in there? So before this explodes, we're gonna take a pair of cutters, cut this off, then it should, maybe, Careful, don't point it towards you. And there you go. Okay, so now, as long as you should be able to pull this up a little bit, like that. So now it's flush. Okay, guys, so now, once you get all the rubber fed onto the rod, you're gonna have to cut the excess off at the bottom. So, what you're gonna do is take a razor blade, hopefully, you have a sharper one than I do, and you're gonna wanna just cut it off. Okay, so as you can see, I'm slowly cutting it. it you can have excess on there, it's okay, because once you mount it on the machine, it's just going, the bolts are just going to uh, push it away. Okay, so now you have one lift rod done. So you're, we're going to repeat the same process for the other side. I'll leave the camera on, but I'm not going to talk while I do it. I'm just going to do it. So again, same steps every single time. And 
put the earplugs in there, tape it off, and now go. Like I said, the curve is the hardest part. Then, we're not done yet. We have to put these zip ties on. Okay. So slide powder. Be greedy with it. Use a lot. Okay. I see what the problem is. This thing, the air's getting out through there. So we'll run some tape around there. Okay, now that's sealed. Now we just gotta do the top again. Strike it. <laughs> Third time of the term. All right guys, so now we are officially finished putting new gum rubber on the lift rods. So what we need to do from this point is just mount them on the machine and you will be good to go. So if you like this video, please drop a like on it and hit subscribe so we can make good, more good videos like this to help people out because that's what this business is about. And if you guys have any questions about what we covered in this video, please don't hesitate to email me or leave a comment, and I'd be happy to help you guys out. So make sure you please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.